So, you when you got back from the war, uh, you started teaching. Is that? I got back from the war. I had, I, you know, I got the Annapolis Commission at St. John's Divine Church in downtown Manhattan, which is a real honor. I counted that as a, as a, uh, one of my levels of achievement. Mm -hmm. So when I got home after the war, you know, the VA was giving us free school. My dad said, I'll buy you a grocery store. I said, no, I want to go to college. I'd already been through some damn good school. At the, you know, at the School of Mines, they had the best teachers in the world. My physics teacher was from Russia, my math teacher. The chemistry teacher was from Germany, so I had a really great, strong background in science. So I went back to MSU after the war and took pre-med because I thought I, you know, might as well get into the good stuff. And there's only about ten thousand guys wanted to get into doc, be doctors at that time. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> so I dropped that idea, and the option was to take more science and become a teacher. But I had a major in math and a major in science. You know, I had all the math that they could throw at me. And so I went to high school teaching and I taught math and science for 21 years. And then I opened my shop in West Yellowstone in 1952. That was my summer income. Because I discovered as a teacher you starved because you ate 12 months instead of nine. And my beginning teacher salary is just round up Montana. $2,200 a year, big, big money. I retired after 21 years at 11,000. <laughs>